inspired to talk about church, today being Sunday that I'm recording this, um, someone sent me a question and it says, what is your take on church as far as attendance? So the question is, I feel coming from a place of, you know, what is what what purpose does attendance have in church? Do we have to go to church? Is it better to go to church? Is there anything wrong with us if we don't go to church? Do we earn extra credits when we go to church? Do we earn a special right? Are we more liked? Are we guilty if we don't? Is there punishment for not going to church? What is your take on church as far as attendance is concerned? Well, church can certainly be helpful. It's a beautiful thing. Church symbolizes symbolizes a place where we can come, or is a place that we can come and join um, for the purpose of healing, for the purpose of discovering joy, for the purpose of discovering truth. So church is certainly very helpful. The congregation shares in ideas of truth, ideas of love, ideas of sharing, so church is certainly very helpful um, from that perspective. The Holy Spirit and our guidance can use church as a means to come in into what is true about us. So it's very helpful. However, church is just a symbol. It's 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 deeper than that. Church is really you, right? So it's like God doesn't live in a four wall building. I used to think growing up Catholic that God actually lived in the church. And I'd show up at church. It's like, where are you, God? Is he there? Is he under the altar? Oh, he's behind the statue. Oh, he's in the cross. Where are you, God? So God in, in the church doesn't live in a church. It's silly. Are there like multiple gods in every little church? Growing up Catholic, I used to think that. I used to think, ha, is God there? God's there. Well, but I thought God is everywhere, so it was kind of confusing. God isn't in a four-wall building. God cannot be contained. God is everything. Therefore, church is within. Church is within, and church is everywhere. Every moment is church. And so church, symbolic of, you know, we go to church to discover truth. If we think of church in terms of um you know, we, we, you know, church is us, then the question is really, you know, are we attending? It's not, it's not, are we in attendance at church every Sunday? Are we in attendance to the church within? Are we in attendance to the church within? So it's not, and it's not about physical attendance. It's not about showing up um, in the physical form. It's about showing up from the heart. You know, I was talking to my mom recently and she just moved to a new apartment. And so she had all this furniture that needed to be moved to this new apartment. And she, so she, um, she got together um, some family members, some cousins and so forth to help her move. And so I was talking to her about the move and she was telling me about how you know, it was a long day, there was a lot of furniture, the furniture was heavy, getting it through the door and so forth. And then she started to talk about you know, how appreciative she was about the family members that had shown up to help her. But she was like, you know, there's one person in particular who showed up but he didn't do anything. He didn't want to pick up anything heavy. He didn't want to hurt his back. He just kind of watched and directed. He didn't do anything. So he was in, in attendance, but he wasn't showing up from the heart, from my mom's perspective. Just that's my mother's perspective. But we can all relate to this idea of showing up physically, but not really being there from the heart. So even in, in classes, I remember when I was young, I was in attendance in most of my class classes, you know, is Craig here? Oh, yep, yeah, I'm here. But was I showing up for the class? I, I'm doodling, writing secret notes to my friend and passing it, thinking about lunch break, what time are we getting out? So I wasn't showing up from the heart. I wasn't showing up with a shared purpose with everyone around me. So yes, I was in attendance. So attendance doesn't mean anything unless we're showing up from the heart. So when we show up from the heart, we use church as a means to awakening. It can be very helpful. But church really being who we are, the question is, are we showing up in each and every moment from the heart? So church is us. We, we, are, we are a walking ministry. And as ministers, 
the question is not so much about physical attendance as much as it's about showing up from the heart in each and every moment. So seen from that perspective, then the question is in the moments that we are um, judging other people. You know, we may, we, you know, we, we, we like to think of ourselves as, you know, spiritual and, you know, certainly loving people, but are, are we showing up to that purpose when we have judgments about other people? When we're in the grocery store and the line's too big and we get frustrated and pissed off. So we are church, but are we showing up? Are we showing up from the heart? Are we showing up with love? When we feel guilty, are we showing up? So it's less about a physical attendance to a four wall building and more about showing up for yourself. You are church. The altar of God is within the mind. What are we placing on the altar? When we're in line and frustrated, we are placing frustration there. We're defiling the altar. When we are guilty, when we feel guilty, like we've done something wrong, we've sinned, when we think that we are less than perfect, when we think others are less than perfect, we are defiling the altar. So we're, we, we think of ourselves as spiritual or we're in, a, in attendance from that perspective, but are we showing up from the heart? So church is really about recognizing that you are church and attendance is really about showing up in each, in each and every moment. You know, church goes with you as God goes with you everywhere. Love and joy is with you always. And when that's not there, the question is, how are we defiling the altar? We're not showing up from the heart. So that's the real question is, are we, in a, you know, are we attending to what's true? Are we honoring thoughts that lead us to God, thoughts that point in the direction of God or love, whatever you want to call it, or are we buying into thoughts that lead us to fear or detour us into fear? So church attendance in the physical world means nothing. It doesn't matter if you go to church or if you don't go to church. It's not like God sitting, you know, taking notes. Craig didn't show up to church last week. Nor has he for the last 30 years. Ugh! God doesn't keep score. That we keep score. We are the ones who judge. Hmm, good, bad, didn't show up, not committed. Blah, 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 blah. God doesn't care. He knows our perfection. He knows our unalterable truth. So there's no point in him keeping score. Not, nor can God be offended. <gasps> Craig didn't show up. That's actually a very arrogant thought to think that we can impose an emotion on God. God's not an ego. He's not um, offended. If God is omnipotent, perfection, all-powerful, why would God make a choice to be offended? Like that's or, or, or suffer in any way. God can't suffer. There's no suffering in God. So whether we go or not is irrelevant. Am I going to be saved? If I don't go to church, I won't be saved. You're already saved. It's done. It's a done deal. You cannot not be saved. It is a done deal. You may not realize it. It may not be a known truth yet. Yet. But it is a done deal, so it's irre irrelevant whether or not you actually attend church. The question is, are you inspired to go to church? If you're inspired to go to church, you go to church. It's inspired. It's joyful. That's what our function is, is joy. Our function is to be happy. So if going to church is something that feels inspiring and we're happy at church, go to church. Have fun. If you don't want to go, don't go. That's okay, too. If you miss a week, that's okay. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Attendance at a physical four wall building does not matter. What matters is are you on purpose at the, in the heart? Well, what are you placing on the altar within? What are you holding in your heart? Not just one hour a week at Mass on Sunday, but in every single moment. Being church within, being church, it's every moment. So it's in public, 
It's in the family. It's at home. It's with friends. It's at work. It's everywhere we carry God in our heart. The question is really, are we showing up for God in each moment? Are we in attendance there? Not whether I'm in a, in a physical building. That's irrelevant. It's, it may be helpful to think about it this way. It's like, I remember growing up, there was always like one or two kids who got these certificates at the end of the year of perfect attendance. They showed up to class, every single class, perfect attendance. Some for, for all four years of high school or grammar school, whatever. So they got these beautiful certificates. Congratulations, you were in attendance every day. But what does that mean? Did they learn more? Did they get better jobs? Were they, did they find better careers? Are they happy? Are they more fulfilled? Are they success, more successful? No! It's not a question of whether or not they were in perfect attendance. It's a question of whether or not they learned what they needed to learn in school and were able to integrate and generalize the lessons learned so that they could exemplify what they learned. That's really the measurement. So the question isn't whether or not we show up to church every week, every Sunday. The question is, are we capable or are we exemplifying the teaching of the church? And I'm not speaking to rituals. I'm speaking to the true teaching the, at the very heart of what church symbolizes, which is to know truth, to know God, to know love. So it doesn't matter if we're attending church, are we, are we living examples of what, what, it, what church points to? Are we living examples of love? Are we showing up? Are we in attendance each and every moment? I love you.